you cold? The last thing I had was cold. We're so right for each other, and the way we just made love for reason. I wish it could always be this way. You can't. If you let it, it can be like this for the rest of our lives, okay? Just you and me together raising our little Maria. That's how good our lives can be if you let it happen. Just you and me, till death do us part. Oh my God. I'm a married woman. What have I done? I can't believe I did this. I just got married to Fox and I cheated on him with you. Listen, put the jacket on, you're freezing, okay? Look at me. What happened just now between us was supposed to happen. You made love to me because you loved me, okay? I'm supposed to be on my honeymoon right now, and I'm with you. Oh, I, I, I try to do good. I try to do the right thing, but I don't. I'm a bad person. Oh, my God. It's bad enough that I've lusted after you in my heart, but now I've committed adultery. I'm going to burn in hell for this. I'm a terrible person. I deserve to rot in hell. Hey, 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 don't ever say that, okay? If anyone's broken trust with anyone here, it's Fox who's broken trust with you. I mean, he's lied, connived, and tricked you into marrying him. He's doing everything possible to keep you and me from being together. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I mean, that doctor at my wedding, Eve knew him. He confirmed that Fox was dying. Look, Julian must have paid the guy off. Okay, just think about it. If Fox were really sick, he would have gone to Eve first. Eve would have referred him to a specialist, and that's just how things are done, okay? None of this adds up for one reason and one reason only. None of this is true. Well, what about Charity? I saw you with her at my bridal shower. <sighs> okay, I've told you once. I'm going to tell you again, it was not me. And for all I know, it wasn't Charity either. Okay, I spoke to Charity on the phone, and she hasn't been anywhere near Harmony since she dumped me and took off. Fox is behind this, and you're just gonna have to believe me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jess! Jessica came back and told us she saw two people on the wharf impersonating me and Charity. She was drunk. Which is why we didn't believe her, Kay. But what if she was telling the truth? That's it. It explains everything. Fox hired lookalikes or something. Oh, oh come on. That's so far-fetched. Kay, the guy's a crane. At this point, he's capable of doing anything. Uh, uh, I don't know what to think, okay? I've got to go back home to him. I've got okay, to tell okay. him about this. Okay, I'm not going to let you go back home to that creep again. He's my husband. Okay, he's going to lie to you. He's going to confuse you more, make you think that I'm the one that's lying to you instead of him. I will not let you go back to him, okay? I won't let that happen. How can I not go back to Fox? We're married. I've got to tell him about all of this. You know what, you're right. You do need to talk to him, but you're only going to talk to him to ask him for a divorce. Okay, now, whoa. It's happening ugh, way too fast, okay? I don't know what to think. Look, I do, Kay. I know exactly what to think. I think Fox tricked you into marrying him. He thought he could get away with this forever. But he's underestimated how much I love you. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to go find Fox. I'm going to bring him to you, and then you know exactly who's been lying to you all along. Be careful. I will.